So this is what this drinking water reservoir looks like underground. It is basically a cave that you have to explore with scuba gear. And some of the places these caves look a lot like a cave that would be at the surface. Uh, so we have places here in, uh, even though our, our um, area is what we call colored, covered parts with the, the uh, Hawthorne group on top, the lower part of the Hawthorne group and some of the rocks above the, uh, the true uh, report aquifer have some more limestones in them. And we get old uh, sinkholes and old cavities in there. So we do have some caves that can be explored around here that are partly dry or are um, filled with water that's not the applicable water, but um, a more um, a different type of shallow uh, aquifer in the Hawthorne group. And students in our program um, and have gotten interested. We, we haven't done a lot of, uh, we, 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 one of my colleagues is uh, Dr. Denison, uh, fairly specialized in studying caves, but um, it's been difficult to get into any of the caves so far that we found, uh, because there, there, but there are, there are cave entrances in south, uh, in local counties in this part of Florida. And there are certainly, um, certainly a lot of uh, passengers that are going through the surface here that probably connect into the groundwater below in the upper floor and out. One of the places that we have a lot of access to, and uh, this is along the, uh, the Wislacuchi River, north of where it crosses uh, North Valdosta Road. Uh, you take the Aldell Road and then you go on into a subdivision and you go out on uh, the floodplain. But it's 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 not a simple floodplain. It's one that has uh, outcrops of various kinds of um, mostly sandstones, but then some beds of limestone that are dissolving and uh, going uh, taking the water in and out of. One of the, the things you'll, we see when we do these field trips is every time we take a field trip there, it's pretty much a different thing. as far as the hydrology goes. It'll change uh, from week to week uh, drastically. Even um, just last, well, I guess it was the spring before last, this whole feature was created in about a month. It wasn't there, uh, and we did a senior thesis project, and it was there on, in less than, it formed in a couple months. And um, this is actually where Cherry Creek beats the Whitlacoochee River. But uh, Cherry, the Whitlacoochee River is supposed to be going from where I'm standing out down past him. But the, the area up at the time that this picture was taken, the area from where we're standing up was completely drunk. There was no water in it at all. And the only water was coming um, out of Cherry Creek. And then the Wittlacoochee was going backwards to the north into this hole and all the water. But every time we go out there, it's different. So uh, we have a student uh, sam who sampled this and is doing studies figure out what the chemistry is in there. There are some issues because Cherry Creek comes out of subdivisions and it sometimes has uh, some uh, contaminants of various kinds of it. Sometimes uh, just phosphates from detergents or um, from <coughs> like septic But most of the water, it is pretty clear in here. And so, as you, you, as you know, you, uh, if you're from the area, you know that the water is going to be kind of black, which is uh, just organic matter decaying, but um, but uh, changing the, the leaves, changing the water to black, it's, it's, it's still can be very uh, good quality for other reasons in other respects, even though it's um, black. And black. 